Hi guys, I hope you're having a really relaxing weekend. Um, today we are going to do a little kind of mini haul. It's like some things that I have collected over summer and yeah, we'll, we'll use them, we'll swatch them. Um, we go on a couple of little adventures and at the end I just wanted to talk to you about the shop update as well. So it is, things are a little bit late. I am adding mother of pearl palettes to the orders and they're sort of halfway done so i'll show you that at the end Okay, so the first thing that I got, and I have been recommended this several times, and I've had this kind of on and off my wish list for a few years, and I will tell you the reason why. Um, but it's a 100% cotton Caval sketchbook, so it's a really, really beautiful product. The I absolutely love everything about it: the design, um, the paper inside, the quality of craftsmanship. Uh, when they bind the book so they're all hand bound um, yeah just the the whole concept of it and the little note that's inside and everything it's really lovely so one of my favorite features are these corners so the they've like um, yeah given the tech the sketchbook a really beautiful shape which I really love and then underneath the sketchbook there were a few pieces of like the different uh, papers that they offer in the sketchbooks which I thought was really nice um, you can you know try those out so then it comes with this elastic that you can use uh, and I'll show you in a minute there you can use that elastic in a few different ways um, and yeah this the the one that I got is the um, so it's this gold one I think they kind of come in like limited editions kind of thing so they ha will have one set and then they'll go for another one so um, the only thing that has kind of stopped me from getting one of these has been the cover I knew that I wouldn't really love the cover, cover material and you can see here on the left this is the Hanamal Nostalgia I really wish they would do one with like just a book linen just a beautiful book linen like I really love I, I don't necessarily love the paper in the nostalgia but I love the feeling of the book linen and you can see it's got like this herringbone design um, and I knew that you know when I pick up this one it's got kind of like a vinyl-y feeling which just isn't super pleasant um, but it's not necessarily as bad as I thought it would be so um, yeah anyway I and I really love the color so you can see here I really loved on the note um, it said I present to you your new extraordinary sketchbook which I really love and then they kind of show like the mechanics of the sketchbook and then there's also a little sheet here to show you how like different ways that you can use the elastic which I thought was really nice so uh, yeah you know you can add like extra things at the front um, yeah so really my one um, down point is just the um, front cover but everything else about the sketchbook is so beautiful even this front page so they add in an extra like fly leaf that's just I guess for you to test the paper and to try some things before you start using the sketchbook which I think is just so lovely so yeah very uh, very happy about that and um, I have a few more sketchbooks and things to show you so I was going to um, go through and like swatch on these papers and everything but I think we'll do another like a there's a couple of other sketchbooks I want to get to try for you so um, we'll do like a dedicated sketchbook haul and we will swatch them all and everything paint in them so um, these are some pieces of paper that I got and I've wanted these for a while and I finally just got a couple so these are from Art Spectrum and they're actually pastel papers I think so we have the rose grey and then just the white um, but yeah they look they look and feel really beautiful so I want to try a few different things on them so again they will be in another video we'll like actually work on those because there's only a couple like I don't want to um, just you know 
uh, kind of waste them. Okay, so I also got a few uh, Diane Townsend pastels and then another little moleskin. So you can see this one, I've showed it a couple of times. I really enjoy uh, just taking this with me and being able to kind of have a pencil or like a little tin of pencils and just being able to sketch um, some things in here like while I'm waiting somewhere. So I got a, um, a pocket, um, a pocket size as well because sometimes like um, last week I was in a waiting room and it was even like it was pretty small there were just like a few seats and I feel like even this is just kind of too big if there's like someone there with you so <laughs> So we also ended up at that mall which was really a beautiful mall, the, probably the nicest one I've seen and um, yeah it's called an American Dream anyway if you've been there let me know. Um, I think they have like rides and things there as well that you can like kind of an amusement park or something I'm not sure but um, yeah let me know any info you have on it because we ended up there like just before it closed but yeah it looked really nice so. Um, you can see like I was just working on a couple of little things there while I was waiting and um, yeah so that's my first kind of uh, sketchbook and um, again like the covers are a little bit satiny but yeah that would be a really good idea as well to uh, pull the book block out and you know keep that and use that you know on its own and then um, yeah put like make this an altered art journal like a junk journal or an art journal yeah that would be really lovely so um yes so okay so I have the two moleskins and then the caval one and then I also have so this is the caval and then I also have um the Tina and Mia one which I showed I think in the last video um so this is a really beautiful one I think you guys have already bought all these out um, on Jenny Bick so yes it's like got a like it's like a travels notebook it's got a really beautiful book cloth and also the paper inside feels really beautiful as well so I'm thinking that it's like it you know got cotton content in it and again that's another one that we will like swatch things in and try different materials in that you know in the other video we'll kind of do everything in that so but it's got like three inserts a line a dotted and a blank one the lines actually I'm not really a fan of lines but they're like they're little dots in the shape you know to form the line and it's quite and it's quite soft as well I think it's even coming out a little bit uh, stronger on camera but yeah it's it's quite pleasant and then um, the last one that I got here is a Leuch term so this is an A5 Leuch term it's a blank one I think this color is a limited edition lilac and then yeah this is my just regular uh, sketchbook that I've been really enjoying lately the, the paper's beautiful um, but the only my only thing about that one is just the spiral binding so yeah anyway it kind of always making a little compromise and then this one here is Oh, I'm just showing you this is my chic sparrow the March hair this is a b6 this is what I've been using as my planner this year and I got the monthly loach term planner I think in the powder pink and um, I showed this quite a bit at the beginning of the year I was really enjoying just doing a like a little square per day or something like that um, I'm not really I haven't really been doing it the last couple of months I haven't really had time but uh been, I just really liked the paper I liked using pencil on the paper so I got a larger you can see here like it's a little bit larger than the B6 one this the A5 one okay so the next thing I got is a number two this is a Raphael fresco so I think that these 
uh, brushes are actually discontinued which is really a pity because they're a really beautiful brush so you can see they're a long handle brush um, the one that I've been using on the channel a lot is the number 10 pointed filbert or I think they call it sometimes oblong or different things and then I just got the number two round as like a small detail brush so you can see this one is the Escoda Reserva number six which I still really love it's a short handle brush um, but I just I've been really enjoying the actual kind of the weight of the long handle brushes so for my detail brush I've been using the Da Vinci number two it's the one at the back there it's a liner brush um, but I have just really enjoyed the feeling of like the weightiness of the actual brush handle um, I don't know that you'd call it like a pendulum motion but it just feels like it just feels a little bit more um, nicer to kind of stroke it across the paper I'm not sure if that makes sense but um, I didn't I didn't even try a long handle brush for a long time because uh, kind of the standard is that if you're a watercolor artist you don't need one and you can just use the short handle ones um, which makes sense but I just think like as kind of trying to do more painterly strokes I really enjoy using the long handle brushes uh, and I actually sort of just got one because I saw the one that I'm using I saw it in Jerry's um, I think a few Christmases ago and I just thought it was such a beautiful brush so I just got it for that kind of the aesthetic um, you know inspiration of it and then uh, when I tried it I just I've never stopped using it so I really enjoy it but um, yeah I'm just kind of having a little go of this detail one here and again like um, these I think they are kind of more oil brushes but they just work really really beautifully um, yeah, for watercolour. Okay, so the next thing that I got are these Diane Townsend. These are the soft form uh, pastels and then you can see like the pink one is um, a tirages one so it's like got the rectangular shape um, yeah these are like the I'm not really going to go through and, and tell you exactly which color it is you can see there but um, I I really enjoy these pastels so they've kind of got a really nice in between soft and also detail like you can actually um, hold a little bit of a line there I've just I've discovered that I really don't mind the kind of harder pastels I really love the um, Henry Roche ones I'd say they're my favorite um, and then these would be like my second favorite I really love them so I just got a little selection of colors here that I thought might be useful for um, Kind of architectural stuff the same kind of thing that I was showing in like my last haul with the kind of setting up the plein air palette so uh, and one thing I've been enjoying is just to put wax paper down on top of the pastels and to rub that in and the wax paper none of the pa none of the pigment comes onto the wax paper but it sort of just goes into the paper and yeah so you don't lose as much pigment and so that it's you know it's kind of more in there um, yes and I think I did read a really beautiful comment about um, how this light so when you put um, water on the pastels it dampens the light or something like that there's a there's a way that the pastels because of the pure pigment it refracts light really beautifully so um, if you want to add that comment down below as well like I, I think that was really lovely I, I saw it on a pastel video somewhere but I know it was one of you so um, yeah it's I really I still really like putting the water on but I liked like um, how you described that and then I think that the um, that's why I think I'm so drawn to pastels because it is the pure pigment like you see that and it's a, a pastel itself is a really beautiful thing I think so anyway I'm just showing you here the Tourage's one on the website it looked kind of like this ballet pink like a, a barely there kind of pink and you can see there that it's a very bright kind of 
pink it's not one that I would have chosen at the shop um, but then we do swatch it at the end and I am you know I'm okay with having it there but um, yeah so what we're going to do now is I have a whole nother video I did manage to get into New York I had to go in for a meeting so um, there is some footage and we do paint that but um, I I just thought in this video we would try the pastels out and we would paint one of these kind of scenes uh, that I've just filmed in there so it's just a very beautiful um, building and there's some really like details and um, I really love kind of looking for those kind of ornate details and then the windows in New York are also really expressive like they are very beautiful just the shapes and the reflections so um, I kind of just wanted to do that quickly here and use these pastels and my plein air kind of watercolors and I'm really practicing um, so that if I'm out and about and I have just a few minutes to do a sketch, um, yeah, I, I need practice on that because every time I go out, I, we've kind of done a few plein air fails on the channel. Every time I try it, it's quite an overwhelming experience and I just, um, yeah, I, I, can't, I really can't do it. So um i really really enjoy and you'll see quite a few videos on my like favorite painting videos um playlist so i add to that all the time as well so you know you can check kind of what i'm watching what's inspiring me as well but um yeah i i um what am i saying I, i've added a few like plein air tips videos and things like that i really want to be able to do it but it's just pretty tricky so I feel like if I practice with the supplies that I have and the subjects I want to do, then I can kind of, when I get there, I'm more prepared to um, just tackle that, if that makes sense. So, yeah, so we're just using these colors and you can see it's a pretty limited color palette as well. And it's also a very neutral color palette, um, obviously, like for the buildings, that's kind of where I was headed with that and yeah i'm also really simplifying the shapes so where there was the you know quite ornate parts at the top there i've just kind of more done circles and the little garlands and then i have kind of made up some um you know scroll work sort of shapes down the sides and that's one of the things is that when you um i get quite a lot of questions about you know how to paint loosely and I would say one of the best ways to do that is to um, keep working on more precise things. And then when you're ready and when you have enough kind of um, this kind of lexicon of skills built up, like you're understanding the values and the colors that you want to use. And um, I think more instinctively, the looseness will come um but yeah you don't want to you don't want to kind of force that before you've kind of learned all the basics and the and the sort of behind the scenes of how the painting um should kind of evolve if that makes sense or how your or how your subject is so like we'll talk a little bit more about this in the next video about painting in new york so um and in that video, I, I, we do a painting that's a little bit more structured than this as well. So, yeah. And for me, one of the um, things that I am looking for is like a balance between, you know, getting down kind of, well, time-wise is, you know, what I can achieve in a small amount of time and still trying to capture a little bit of the essence of that scene and that moment. So...
Okay, so this is a little tiny quarter dram bottle of the Schmincke, um Gold. Um, it's the Aqua Bronze. And I really love this. I love having it in this little travel palette and being able to add some finishing uh, touches to the painting. And yeah, these are what I um, give out in with the watercolor orders. So that is where we ended up and I feel like it does kind of capture when you see the footage of um, the day that was in there. It was kind of this um, overcast and kind of grey day but it, it was still really beautiful and it's that kind of feeling, um, I don't know, I'll talk about all that in the next thing but you can see that I have, um, this is just my moleskin and I've put some um, wax paper in there and I usually always, um, I talked about this, but like I leave pages uh, in between for the moleskin. So I always um, just use, like I join two pages together and then um, skip to the next page. So here I am trying the uh, tirages. I really love the tirages pastels. And um, yeah, this one turned out okay. Like when I saw the color, I was really aghast. I was like, this is not what I wanted but um, yeah it I think it will work okay So that is the um, the pastels and yeah I do enjoy using them on their own like that. I do enjoy using them with uh, watercolor and I have a playlist for like all the pastels, the swatches and you know how I use them and things like that as well. Um, so yeah, you can see the, the wax papers just in there and then this is something else that I was just um, playing kind of playing around painting one night uh, this week it was just really late and I thought I just need to have a little um, a little bit of a paint and yeah the the sparkly color around the edges is Daniel Smith um, duochrome lapis sunlight the kind of greeny sparkly one so shop news and kind of um, a little bit of an update on that this is where I'm at. I still have kind of half of the, um, like I've got still more colors to mull and add to the shells, um, add the glitter, add um, all kinds of things. Um, yes, the anyone who, and then like here's like the regular freebies. So if you did order the, this is the color. So I'm going to put the rich gold um, in the little bottles this time a different one and then everyone will get one of these free mini abalone shells which I really liked as well so it'll kind of look more like that but um, yeah there's like a lot of you can see like the little shells that I've been really enjoying so um, yeah that's a lot more pearls to place and gold to place and all of that but um, I'm kind of halfway there and then there's a couple of um, pigments which were back ordered which I had to wait for and they are needing their final pour and kind of having that um, done as well so 
But I feel like every time I announce that I won't be doing any more colors, I get a few panicked emails. So I did have these um, souffle pa palettes kind of half done, um, hoping that I could get another shop update done. But I was going to add like um, some shells and you know other things with these as well. So I can't do any of that, but I will be able to put a couple of these in the shop, hopefully on a Thursday. So Thursday at four o'clock and then if you have a an order currently these will be filled and done so these will ship out with your current order so what I'm just going to do is if I have a couple of items that are pre-made I will I may be able to do a few shop updates every six to eight weeks just with a couple of items or something like that um, and then I will save like the greens palette, the blues and the um, all like some, I've got like some ideas for trio palettes and things, but that will not be until like the end of the year or maybe next year. So, um, but yeah, I'll, I'll do what I can. And so I hope um, you guys have a really lovely week. I will see you in the next video. Bye.